up everybody welcome back it's your boy ant with another episode of ants machines and things look at becky looking good as always and we're in clifford today as y'all can see from the title of the video i guess my grandma decided that she wants to give me a scooter and of course i can't pass up with another machine so we're gonna go pick it up let's go ahead and hook the trailer up to the back of the truck and we can go to chicago I don't know if anybody else has this issue in their Fords, but I have to pump my brakes up like a lot before I pull off or I will not have any brake pressure like that. No brake pressure at all. Yeah, let me know in the comments if anybody else has this issue. Like I have to go and drive pretty much roll all the way forward with no brakes and then I'll pop it in reverse and then I just gotta kind of pedal it because I don't have any brake pressure to some point it's like your headlight your tail I mean your turn signal going right all right, so we got the trailer hooked up. Uh, turning signals are not working for some reason. So we're gonna wing it today. Go pick up this little schoomer. It's a 2003 Yamaha Zuma. My grandma bought it back in 2003. So this bike is 21 years old with only a thousand miles on it. Right now it's not running. So we're gonna bring it home, bring it in the shop, take it apart and figure out what's going on with it. Let's get it. It's so cute. <laughs> All right, so we are on the way back to the house. I got the scooter back there. And yes, I'm excited to add another machine to my collection. Welcome to another episode of Ants Machines and Things. We just always getting more machines and things, doing something crazy. For those of you who don't know, I don't think I ever posted any of this on my YouTube. I did get my motorcycle license two weeks ago. Um, I took a class and everything, passed the class, and got my motorcycle endorsement. So, literally every day I've been wanting to ride, but quite frankly, I don't have the money or the cash to go buy a bike right now. But looks like that this is going to be my first step to getting there. So, I'll take the baby steps, and I won't skip any steps to get to the prize, you know. So, I'll take this, and shoot, I'm gonna ride this motherfucker too. <laughs> I'm gonna ride it. You know, it won't be nothing crazy. I won't be taking it on long trips or anything, but I definitely have a little fun on it. And uh, shout out to my grandma. Thank you, really thank you for giving it to me because this has been in the family again for 20 years and it could definitely be in the family another 20 years, another 40 years, another 60 years if we take care of it. So I always appreciate getting things from family and that is family. I'm gonna call it bumblebee and i think it's gonna be a her so we're gonna call her bumblebee and uh welcome to the family bumblebee you are at a good home all right everybody we made it back to the shop <laughs> i guess i did a good tie down strap i watched some youtube videos on how to properly tie it down so i used two pull down two pull straps in the front while i was on there to get it tight and then I put one right here to stop that from moving back and forth. And then it gave it that nice solid. I ran two ratchet straps on the back to keep it from bouncing around. So I just took about a 50 minute drive and I didn't have any problems. But we're back at the shop, so we're gonna get it unloaded. And I'll just give you guys a little walk around for it for part one of this uh, new series I got going on. I know I got a, a lot of series going on, but fuck it. It's what we do, baby. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. And my dad pulled it right off the trailer and <laughs> we already broke completely down. We took the sheet off and everything. Opened the bottom up. Got direct access to the carburetor and everything. I see a little bit of oil in there. It looks like it's been leaking from somewhere. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna get it a little cleaned up with some engine degreaser. 
Cause right now it's not running. But he did buy a new battery for it, so it already has a new battery. Me and my grandma got that. But when I bought it back home, I opened up the gas tank, took a look inside of there, and look at all of them pieces that I found in the gas tank. So that's no bueno off the back. It has a little lock mechanism on it that you're supposed to lift and turn it. And when you put it on there, nothing. No kind of suction, no kind of locking mechanism at all. Let me show y'all what it sounds like right now. Nothing. So it sounds like it's turning over really well. It sounds like it has power because <laughs> horn works. <laughs> but can't get it to start. Checking out the inside of this air filter right now. Bike and brace the third well. Slash underneath the middle. Slash underneath the middle. That's fine. Airfare should look good. Hear that bird that come out here every time he's right there on the pole. He flew away. He comes out here and be singing every time I'm out here. Serenade me. Let's listen to him for a while. Okay, special intake right there. Right. All right. So you can do your quick test real quick. Uh huh. Is the fly already? Is the fly already open? Or is it closed? <laughs> <laughs> so it seems like that we definitely are having a gas issue i took the air filter off of the carburetor so that i can spritz some starting fluid into it and it ran which is a good thing so we know pretty much that the engine is fine um but we're just not getting any gas i popped that intake line off it looks like and uh which goes to, I believe, it's a pressure regulator over there. And some gas came out of that. So it looks like they were getting gas in there. I'm not sure, I don't know. But that's the beauty of getting these machines and figuring this jazz out. All right, so my camera is dead. We're gonna be using the iPhone. Just got back off of work and already back in the shop. Stopped and got some car cleaner on my way home. So I'm gonna spray some of this car cleaner in that carburetor. Hopefully it breaks up any gel-like stuff that may be in there. And if that doesn't work, then we're going to have to take that carburetor out, drop the bow, check the jets in it, and do all that fun stuff. So, let's see what we can get into, baby. My hands and everything smell like gas, but I'm dumping all of the fuel out the fuel tank right now. Um, I got the carburetor off, took the throttle cable off and a choke off. So, I'm going to open up this bowl underneath it and check in there. There's two jets in there that feed the engine, I believe. So we're gonna check those out. So I got it off. There's our float. I believe there's one needle right there and one needle next to it. You can see all that gunk in the inside. So it's a high chance that one of them needles can be clogged. So we're gonna get this whole thing cleaned up and uh, I'll get back with you guys. I am covered in gas and I reek like literal gasoline and um, I couldn't get it running today. I didn't get it running today, so we're not gonna worry about it. The carburetor and everything back on there, put the gas tank and everything back on there. Try to start it, still no bueno. So uh, go in tonight, do some more research and do it again on day three, so. This is a 2003 Yamaha Zuma. Um, it is a moped and goes up to more 40 miles an hour. 
for it to be a 2003 the lights look brand new the tires the brakes and everything look good on it this is about to be a solid project i do have another moped right there that i have in pieces literally in pieces that we're working on that currently but this one is pretty much ready to go so we just got to get it running clean it up a little bit and uh we're gonna wrap this mug and go skateboard on it or something so thank you all for tuning in to today's video another episode of ants machines and things i got big red clifford back there in the background man he's been doing the thing he is a dang on tank i absolutely love that truck we got big things going on y'all so make sure you like make sure you subscribe stay updated with all my shenanigans i'll see y'all on the next one i'm out